was determined to rid his small room of darkness. This was no easy task. At first, he painted everything white, even the undersides of his little desk drawers. Then he fitted an array of carefully placed lights on the ceiling and walls. But he always managed to find an odd streak of shadow. The most irritating of which was under his bed. So he stripped his room entirely of furniture and stalked around, happily surveying his efforts. Even he himself did not cast a shadow. So thorough was his work. But when he stood and pondered, he became aware that under his feet, between foot and floor, there was darkness. Immediately, he set about fitting a series of fluorescent rods into the floor. Covering them with translucent plastic floor tiles, which soaked up the light and distributed it evenly upwards in glowing, iridescent, white, bright light. He sighed deeply with satisfaction. But as he drew in a triumphant and ecstatic breath, his chest tightened. For there, deep inside his own body, dwelt darkness. He gasped in terror and clawed at his skin. He ran to his white window and threw his body out into the clear, bright air, down past several balconies and onto the pavement below where he landed with a soft, hollow thud. Come with me. Come. 
A startled old woman appeared and peered down with her black eyes to catch his dying look of utter perplexity. He was promptly gathered up from the thoroughfare and bundled through his death rites. His mother wept beneath her black veil as he was lowered down into the cool, dark embrace of the moist earth, gently caressing the smooth surfaces of his flimsy casket. Welcoming him home into total, irredeemable darkness. <laughs>